This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. You're about to set off for your morning walk. Here I go, you think. Lift leg, bend knee, move leg forward, set foot down. Of course you don't. You would probably fall over. Walking, for the most part, is automatic. You decide on a few things before you get going, and the rest pretty much happens instinctively. If you constantly thought about all the mechanisms which allow you to stroll down the road while you stroll down the road, then you could be in serious trouble. It's the same with voiceover narration. Of course there are decisions to be made, but if you make them before you begin, then you won't need to concentrate on forming each step as you go along. One of the secrets to great narration is essentially losing your mind, keeping the analytical part of your brain quiet in order to deliver your client's message with absolute clarity. When we get distracted by mental noise, the information we're working so hard to get across becomes scattered. Trying to force a voiceover performance through a minefield of thoughts such as, how am I sounding? Should the inflection go up or down here? Or where the heck should I breathe in this mile-long paragraph? Is only going to fragment the message. The poor listener will be left trying to piece it all together and make sense of it. In order for us to truly reach our audience, we must dare to forego the analytical mind. You've probably never heard anyone say that they had a meaningful head-to-head -head conversation with a loved one, and there's a good reason for that. The most powerful communication doesn't come from there. It comes from the heart. And I don't mean this poetically. Allow me to explain with a smattering of science. We know that both the heart and brain generate powerful electromagnetic fields because they can be measured outside the body. Surprisingly, the electrical field surrounding the heart is up to 60 times stronger in amplitude than that of the brain, and the magnetic field is more than 100 times stronger. When it comes to any kind of communication, the heart is where the action is. As speakers, when we activate this powerful center by feeling our way through, rather than thinking our way through, we can transform any performance into a kind of supercharged magnet, drawing in and fully connecting with our intended audience. At its core, voiceover narration is about authentic communication, and this is where you and I are going to begin our work together. We'll kick things off with a deep dive into the very nature of what drives human interaction, including energy, vibration, and connection. Stay with me here. This opening chapter may seem a little abstract, but I promise you that an understanding of how we relate to ourselves and each other will really help you improve your narration skills. I will also share techniques to help you narrate more intuitively and show you ways to get into and stay in a state of flow, rather than mentally plotting your way through a read, like thinking about every step on your walk. Once we've explored the essence of communication, we'll look at the foundations of good narration, including the mind-body-voice connection, visuals and visualizing, establishing your point of view, setting your intention, pace, formality, and knowing who you're talking to. We'll then transfer all this knowledge and wisdom over to the practical side of voiceover narration with the five P's. Projects, prep, performance, pitfalls, and practice. We'll discuss the main narration subgenres, and you'll be guided through the different mindsets and approaches for each. I'll show you some proven techniques for preparing and performing narration text, and share some of the more common stumbling blocks, along with a few cautionary tales. You'll then have an opportunity to hear a variety of sample scripts performed by some talented narrators friends, colleagues, and students who have graciously agreed to have their work showcased within this audiobook. Following all of that, we'll explore what happens when you're on the job, what to expect in the studio, from the client, from yourself if you're working alone, and what everyone else expects of you in the booth. We'll finish off with a few words of wisdom and some final thoughts. I hope that the principles and techniques presented in this book will encourage a new vocabulary and a fresh approach to voiceover narration. As narrators and speakers in general, we have the unique privilege of conveying a message, telling a story, or imparting knowledge through the spoken word. 
I believe we can find our way back to doing this from a focused and authentic place in order to have a greater impact on our listeners.